Welcome to Share Lemonade. We're back to share the positive stories that are happening out there right now. And it's not just about us sharing our good positive things. We want to hear from you as well. Yeah, we're all sharing. That's part of sharing. Everyone does it together. That's, yeah. That's what sharing is. You can't just share with yourself. You can. You can, but it's really not sharing then. Right. So we're on YouTube. Subscribe if you want to watch the show there. Follow us on Facebook and share your positive stories as well. Should we put jazz hands on? Like, through, just make it a thing? Jazz hands. Yeah, we should make it a thing. <laughs> it's, it's definitely, it was a thing at one point. But it, it, it's, it's, come, it's come back around. Did it's it come back stop around. being it a stopped. thing? Yeah, it stopped for a while. It laid dormant. Is that what they say? Well, that's the problem, maybe. More jazz hands. Nicole, for uh, positivity, if we may, for that's not gonna work. All right, sweetie. Hey, everybody. It's Nicole sharing a little bit of positivity with my Australian Shepherd Molly here. We've got some exciting news. We are officially now a two-dog family. Charlie, stop being grass, buddy. This here is Charlie. Adopted him. Oh, nicely done. From Hawes just last weekend out in Waukesha County. He is a five-year-old. Lab Collie Mix. I felt strongly about not getting a puppy because those always find good homes, right? So I wanted to find another dog that I could give a second chance. I know, he loves kisses. He loves kisses. Um, let me know if you adopted an animal during all this. I know a lot of people have added to their families because why not? The chaos of uh, 2020 continues. He's a kisser. He's a kisser. Let us know. Share below. Share some positivity and a little lemonade. It's a lot. See? There's two of them at my house now, but dogs, instant joy. Sit. Yes, they are. Good boy, Clark. Can I shake your hand? It's nice to Whoa. meet you. See? And if your dogs can do tricks or your cats are super cuddly, keep sending in those pictures and photos because we love seeing the positivity. Yes, we do. Winter in Wisconsin, cold. It means it's cold. Yes. Uh, people are going to have to get creative. And they are. Especially this winter, yeah. People are certainly finding ways to keep eating out, even if it is winter in Wisconsin. And Lori Frederick is a writer with OnMilwaukee.com. She's also the host of a podcast called... Food Crush. Yes. And she had some uh, interesting insight on the restaurant industry this season. The whole idea here is share lemonade, right? Live hands do lemons, make lemonade. Tell us the restaurant industry, not a good year, but what is the upside that you've seen? Restaurants are making it possible, I think, for us to embrace the winter a little bit more, um, you know, setting themselves up with things that also, you know, hopefully bring in business and keep them around, you know, for the duration of the winter. Tell us what it, some of the best patios you've seen or just the way, you know, restaurants are getting inventive. There's a lot of patio heaters. We're also seeing, though, places that are like putting out like little enclosures um, to keep people warm. So there are lots of like everything from igloos to greenhouses um, to little private dining spot. Elder and Rhyme is a new Scandinavian restaurant on the west side and they have come up with this idea of a stuga. You can rent a stuga. So that's a Swedish word for cabin. Um, cool. And you know, Scandinavian people are well known for huga. Like yeah. let's cozy in the winter, you know, put on your warm socks, light some candles. I think the idea of, you know, getting huga in a stuga would <laughs> be a good idea. It's not a not exciting time to dine, even if you're doing carry out, um, because so many places are really thinking creatively about this. I'm telling people like, go out and do these things because they will never happen this way. Food and beverage and bringing people together is like one of the things that give all of us joy. And I think that what we need to do as consumers is really just embrace what's out there, what's being offered. You know, yeah, things are different, but you know, you can you can go and snuggle up with a blanket with your honey bun or whoever, <laughs> you know, on a hot on a warm patio. Um, you can get this huge carryout spread, bring it back to your house, and you know, eat it with your people. You can you can have all of these experiences, and you know, definitely do it because you know. If, if all goes well next winter, you know, we'll just be eating in restaurants again. Hey guys, uh, since we're all spending a little more time at home, maybe there's some ingredients in your pantry that uh, you want to figure out kind of how to, how to combine and make um, into something delicious. Yeah, that random thing of soup that's been back there for months. We want to know what is in your pantry and what you don't know what to do with. 
we're gonna get in touch with a professional yeah. who's gonna take your random pantry ingredients that are just laying around, you don't know what to do with, and yeah. come up with something. Yeah, something interesting. Something so let delicious. us know what they are. Yeah. Right? Take a picture, send a list. Hashtag share lemonade, comment below, and we'll put your random pantry items into gourmet recipe. Yes. No, there's probably nothing gourmet. It might be, it might be, who knows? Mexicorn? It's delicious. All right, three, two, one. Hey, I'm Nicole, and I'm so glad you're here to share lemonade. Thank you. But whoa, son of a. Hey, I'm Nicole, and I'm so glad that you're here to share lemonade. Thank you. But for a moment, let's wind together, shall we? This morning, my five-year-old asked if she could take her teddy bear's temperature before school. Two things. Number one, this bear she sleeps with every night is absolutely disgusting and needs to be washed. But two, it made me think what these children are going to take away from this strange time in our lives. 10, 15, 20 years from now, what will they remember about this very odd season? My older daughter, my eight-year-old, made this over the weekend, asked if she could hang it in the window. Yes, it took everything in me not to point out that there's an apostrophe missing. But I didn't mention that, and she did hang it up, and it was a moment that I got to see her true heart. It made me smile. It was a nice reminder that the kids are so resilient. But I do wonder, what are they gonna take away? There's been good, tons of family time, right? My kids are sincerely grateful when they get to go to school now. What about you? I'd love to hear from other parents or grandparents out there. What do you think our young ones will take away from this strange time in our lives? Did anybody think Jack was gonna be the one taking a long time with <laughs> Prima donna. I mean, I can't work with this. <laughs> I can't work with this hair. You're telling me. Hey guys, this is Jack for another episode of Jack Spills the Lemonade. You know, I can't help but think of this society being on some sort of a timeout. You know, maybe we were moving too fast. Maybe we weren't taking the time to stop and connect and learn and listen like we used to. Maybe we were overtaken by all this technology moving so quickly. You know, I have a two-year-old and I spend a lot of time looking after him while I'm working from home. And sometimes he just gets too wound up, throws something and breaks something, or just kind of loses it. I don't know. Maybe it's what the holidays are meant for. Just a little breath. So appreciate it. It's not gonna last forever. This is Jack with Share Lemonade. Okay. All right, thanks for watching another episode of Share Lemonade. Please follow us and subscribe and do all the things. Thing, 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 thing. all, all the things you're supposed to do. Uh, don't forget the hashtag Share Lemonade. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Who are you waving to? The, the, everybody.